Hello everyone, I'm Matt Kimball. This is a demonstration of my laser scanner rig. I'm using the software David Laser Scanner along with a homemade contraption for sweeping the laser. Here's my camera. There's the laser device. The cable is just for power. I have a controlling board with a Arduino microcontroller handling the interface to the computer, which is all handled via USB. Actually, I believe it is uh, a virtual COM port, but all the same. Scanning in Guy Fox. That's our source material. Thank you very much to my neighbor Morgan for lending me his laser level. I have bought several, but none are as good for the purpose as his. Here we can see the software running. I've already calibrated it, taken the texture shot. We're ready to turn off the light. Might get a little dim here. There you can see just the laser. Hit a light for a second and you can see a little bit. There's our setup. Here's David Laser Scanner. We will start. And we'll switch over to the serial port monitor in the Adreno development area. We'll send my interface board the lower laser command which is minus sign switches over to motor backwards if you listen now you can hear the laser is very slowly turning And here you can see it coming into the computer. Doesn't take very long. The motor is driven entirely off the USB port. It's actually a very small motor that's doing the driving. Here we'll tell it the motor to move forward now with the plus sign. So now that's reversing it. You can see now it's very slowly moving its way back up. And a second pass over the sample data will give us a better result. As you can see here, little holes and such fill in second time around. So we'll send the interface board the stop command with space. And there's Guy. Now we'll pause. Show 3D. And there you go, Guy Fox in 3D. Of course we have to take several scans of almost any, of almost anything and then recombine them through a separate process 
That fox here works out well that you can get almost all of him with one scan. But there you can see it doesn't really take very long. Let's uh, take a closer look at the interface for it. Here's another of the models I'm digitizing. I call this one Birdie. He's one form, the antagonist in a storyline I have takes throughout the conflict. The interface board is composed of the Atmel AVR Mega 168, I believe, right here. There's its timing crystal, the USB interface, random LED. Several of its pins run over here to these four transistors, which are forming a H-bridge motor driver. Thank you very much to my good friends Ray and Justin for contributing many of the electronic components here from their kits. The seven segment LED does nothing at all right now. It's pretty special. This assemblage was made out of an old milk crate. You can see here I dremeled it together. This here was pulled out of a USB toy is some sort of uh, aimable USB uh, foam missile launcher. I also uh, pulled some of the gears out of there and affixed them to this other thing. I don't know what this is. I found it sometime a while ago and always wanted to do something neat with it. So there we go. And then the laser is actually completely removable so that I'm not permanently assimilating any of my neighbor's stuff here. Well, I think that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in.